So you clicked on this video because you heard about ashwagandha somewhere and now you're considering taking it. Now if you saw my last video, you know that I've been taking ashwagandha every single day for a full year. So I experienced it myself and I've been kind of a lab rat for it. So I'm going to tell you the dark side of ashwagandha. I'm going to tell you both the pros and the cons of taking ashwagandha. This way if you're considering taking it, you'll have a way better understanding of it. And by the end of the video, you'll have a better clarification on if it's right for you or not. So without further ado, let's start talking about the pros. First, I got to take my daily dose. So I take 1200 milligrams of ashwagandha every day. Down the hatch, just like that. If you guys want to get the ashwagandha that I've personally been using, I'll leave a link in the description down below. There's also a sale going on. I think it's up to 50% off. So if you want to take advantage of that, check out the link down below. Now, briefly put, if you don't know what ashwagandha is, it's basically a herbal shrub that grows in India, North Africa, and some parts of the Middle East. And its roots are known to have extraordinary mental and physical benefits. So the first pro of taking ashwagandha is insanely sharpened focus and memory. If you find that you're someone that tends to have their mind wander off, whether you're in a conversation with someone, whether you're doing work, or whether you're doing any task, you can easily get distracted. Ashwagandha helps a lot with that, and I noticed that myself, because whenever I was doing work, I would easily pick up my phone and get distracted, swipe through TikTok, Instagram, whatever it was, but as soon as I started taking ashwagandha, whatever it was that I was doing in the moment, I was just insanely focused on it, and my attention was directed towards that. So if I was having a conversation with someone, I would be so focused on what it is they're saying, so focused on what I'm saying, and it would make the conversation flow so much better. When I was doing work, I would be able to do one, two, three, four hours of work without picking up my phone at all and focusing so much on what it is that I'm doing. But the reason I enjoy it is because it's a herbal supplement, it wasn't some sort of forced focus as you would experience if you take some sort of medication. It was very organic and natural. So when I was doing a task or I was doing work or I was having conversation with someone, naturally I would just be more focused on it. I didn't feel like my mind was forcefully focusing on things. The second pro, and this is one of the ways these supplement companies market ashwagandha, is that it is a sleep aid. So not only does it help you go to sleep a lot quicker, when you are asleep, you're in a way deeper sleep. And I've personally experienced that when I'm sleeping, I experience crazy and vivid dreams, which I enjoy because I like dreaming. And the reason it helps you sleep a lot better, and you'll see me elaborate on this point a little bit in the next pro, is because it reduces your stress and your anxiety. So oftentimes when I'm going to sleep, my mind is just wandering with stress and worries and imaginations and overthinking, etc., which can prevent me from falling asleep. But ashwagandha just eases that down, which in result helps me fall asleep quicker. And the third pro is exactly that. That, is that it reduces stress and anxiety. This is also a very popular and common effect of ashwagandha and why a lot of people start taking it. If you feel like you're someone that tends to overthink things, get stressed out easily, or feel anxious, the best way that I can explain it is by taking ashwagandha, all that noise in my head just kind of goes away. So essentially, I kind of just care less. Like situations that would usually get me mad, sad, angry, anxious, stressed, whatever it is, wouldn't enhance my emotions and make them surface as much as before and that helped me in a lot of areas in my life like for example if I encountered a situation that was a problem I would be so much more calm when reacting to it which would make me execute and figure out a better solution for it so those are the three main pros that I experienced but now for the dark side of ashwagandha. Before getting into the dark side and the cons of ashwagandha, I will state that it is a very case by case basis. So each person is affected differently from ashwagandha. Personally for me, I didn't really have any bad side effects, which I'm very grateful for. But a lot of people do tend to experience some negative effects, which is why I wanna cover them, this way you are aware of them. So getting into the first con and this is kind of a double-edged sword because in the pro I was saying that it reduces stress and anxiety which makes you care less but because of that some people say they become completely emotionless so not only does it reduce their stress and anxiety towards negative situation but it also stunts their emotions towards positive situations. so people will see that they don't feel as happy they won't feel as excited they just kind of feel numb in the middle neutral I had a comment in my previous video that said during Christmas they found that they weren't able to enjoy it as much because they were taking ashwagandha. But like I said, it is a huge case by case basis because personally for me, I didn't experience that. Ashwagandha for me gave me very subtle effects, which made it so that I didn't go to the extreme where I couldn't feel excitement, happiness, or joy towards positive situation. I still could. The second con that people experience with taking ashwagandha, and this is again a double-edged sword, is that because it is a sleep aid, a lot of people experience drowsiness, upset stomachs, and sometimes nausea. Now, personally, 
Personally for me, I don't experience drowsiness. So I'm okay with taking it in the morning, which is what I usually do. After my first meal, I take my ashwagandha and I go about my day. But for the people that do experience drowsiness or other side effects, they take it at night and they find that to be a good solution to this con. Because as soon as you take it, you go straight to bed. So that drowsiness translates into helping you sleep. Or even if you feel nauseous or an upset stomach, you're going to sleep and in the morning you feel better. But again, this is a case by case basis. Some people have a stronger stomach or aren't so prone to feeling nauseous so they won't get those side effects. But for the people that do, what usually works best is taking it before going to sleep. And the third con is that ashwagandha, if not taken properly, can cause liver damage. Now this has been shown in very few cases. Again, because it is a herbal supplement and it's not super strong, most people won't experience this. But some people, like I said, in very few cases have experienced liver damage. But this is also because you do need to cycle on and off of ashwagandha. Usually you take ashwagandha for two to three months and then you cycle off of it for one month and then you repeat. This prevents you from feeling any of those potential liver side effects. Overall, because ashwagandha affects everybody differently, you should test it out and just kind of see how it plays out for you. That's personally what I did. So when I first started taking ashwagandha, I started with a smaller dosage. So usually the recommended dosage is 1200 milligrams to 2000 milligrams daily. I started by taking 600 milligrams. And then I did that for two weeks and then I felt fine. So I took another pill, which made it 1200 milligrams. And I found that that worked best for me. So that's what I continue to do. If you want to get the ashwagandha that I personally use, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's also on sale right now. I think about 50% off so you can cop it. The link will be down below. I also want to make it clear that I am no health professional in any way. I am simply talking about ashwagandha in my own personal experience. So before taking it, I definitely recommend that you consult a health professional or a doctor. You guys have been really liking these videos that I do talking about ashwagandha, so make sure to subscribe for more. Also, leave a like, it means a lot to me. It just shows me that you enjoyed the video. But that being said, I will see you in the next video.